In this video I will show you how to use proxy switcher and how to set proxy so that you can work anonymously and securely from your computer, as well as how to set up your personal proxy in this program if you have one. And in this video I will show you how to set a proxy if you do not have personal one and you need to use public proxy, as well as how to use your personal proxy in proxy switcher. Let's get started. When you have downloaded and installed program, proxy switcher shortcut will be in the lower right menu on the window panel. Click on shortcut. When proxy switcher program is launched, you also start wizard for automatic configuration of proxy list, with the help of which program pulls up various proxy lists. Uncheck the box opposite show wizard on startup in the lower left part. Then in the future this setup wizard will not appear at startup. Click next. Next window has several options for loading servers. You need to select find new servers, rescan servers, reject dead. So that the program pulls up all possible proxies from which you can later choose working and suitable one. Now click finish. After clicking finish this setup menu closes and proxy switcher workspace opens. Program pulls up proxies from various countries. It will take some time for all proxies to load, so I suggest you give proxy switcher time for this. If you are doing this for the first time, you are launching proxy for the first time and pulling proxy lists into the program, it will take a little more time than if you had already done this before. But with each new launch of the program this time will decrease. If you need to manually download proxy list, then open action menu and select download proxy lists. Proxy switcher will start pulling up all sorts of proxies and in the new section you can see them. So, when proxy list is downloaded, you need to test them and understand which are working and which are not. As I said, all new proxies will be in the new folder. Select this folder. All loaded proxies are on the right side of the screen. Select them all with Ctrl A combination to check everything at once. Next select test selected servers. Proxy testing begins. As you can see state field next to the proxy is untested. Which means they are not tested. During testing this value will change according to whether proxy status is working or not. If proxy is working, then the color will change to green, if not working, then this proxy will be red. This is convenient, so that you can immediately distinguish between working proxies and non-working ones. Now you can connect to one of the active working proxies. On the left side of the screen, tested proxies will be automatically transferred to appropriate folder. Dead proxies will be in that folder and active proxies are located in basic anonymity folder. Go to this folder. As you can see, all proxies are active and green. Select one of the proxies you want to connect to and double click on it with the left mouse button. The icon next to the proxy will turn green. You can also enable and disable selected proxy by clicking on the corresponding icons in the control panel, enable and disable. At the top of the program next to the name you can see which proxy you are connected to and which region it is. That's all. Proxy is connected and you can safely use it. Now how to set up personal proxy or add your own proxy. In the control panel find the red plus. Add new proxy server. Now in the window that opens you can set your proxy. If it is public then enter only IP and port and if it is personal then also login and password. When everything is entered click OK. Now you can see proxy you added but it also needs to be tested. Right click on it and select test this server. After testing if the proxy is not working it will be red and if it is working then green and you can use it. Double click on it and you are done. 